heavy as the king's crown. That's why only I can wear it. King to stay. Sekai is the smoke. What's going on, guys? Logan JYA with our local legendary duelist, our friend Alec, who has got Red Dragon Archfiends, which performed admirably well. Alec, any shout outs you want to give? To all the young duelists that want to, you know, build their own decks, keep up. All right, excellent. Let's uh, check out your profile. We have three Crimson Resonators. Good cards to have for your sync for your dark synchros. Okay, summons from deck, right? Yep. We have Soul Resonators. Good for searching fiends and good for protecting your arch fiends. Got it. Vision Resonators are awesome because not only can you special summon this guy, you can also add a spell or trap. Got it. Two red resonators, so that way you can get a special summon and gain life points. Got it. Two synchron resonators, good for special summoning, synchro summoning, and then getting a resonator back from the grave, adding to your hand. Got it. Two ash, obviously good for negating. Yep. Three bone arch fiends, which so are- this is like the best card in the deck, right? Yep, the best card, because you see, this card, you get special summon from the hand or grave by sending a card from your hand to the grave. Got it. And also by sending a monster, a tuner, a resonator from your deck to grave, you can alter its level up or down. And basically. that triggers the effects of the ones that you send. Yep. We have the red familiars. Good little guys. Now, they are mainly used for just altering your red uh, you know, levels. Basically, like, you can alter them from one to eight. Got it. We have the wandering king. These okay, that's will, like a free special summon, right? Yep, free special summon whenever you have a tuner monster out that Got has it. a fiend type. Got it. And of course, we have the bestial build. Oh, uh, disgusting. Hate these cards. These cards are good for when you need to, you know, break up a tier element build or basically a uh, Albaz build. Next, we have the key cards that we need are Crimson Gaia, which allow you to search, you know, your key cards such as Crim Soul Resonator, Vision Resonator, and all your other best cards. Also, he's a book of moon. Yep. We got the resonator calls. Good for searching resonators here. Mm -hmm. Searches any of them. Yep, any resonator. And we have these, which people don't normally play, resonator command. So what does this do? By discarding a card, you can search, actually by discarding a resonator, you can search for any level four or lower fiend type monster. Okay. So you can search for any of them. Got it. Next, we have our Triple Tactic Talents. Oh, very good. First or second. Yep, first or second. Good cards to play to get those good draws. Mm -hmm. We have Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh, good. yeah. Blow out the back row. And we have the key card for Red Dragon Archie himself, Absolute Power Force. And what does this do? This card not only raises your Archie's attack points, but it also makes it so your opponent can't activate any cards in the damage step in response. Oh, nice. And best part, does double the piercing damage. Wow, so it just becomes a killer. And it's only for Red Archfiend himself. Got it. All right, now we are onto our traps. Three infinite impermanences. Hand trap. Yep, great card. And we have one red zone. So this is a pop, right? A pop and or revive from the revanish zone. Nice, nice. All right, now we're onto the extra deck, folks. We won Three Red Rising Dragons. This is like the best one, yeah? Yep. Special summons tuners from the grave, and by banishing this guy, you can special summon two level one tuner. Then we run the biggest, baddest boy, the Scar Dragon Archfiend. And this one cheats out Red Dragon Archfiend from the extra deck? Not only does he special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend, but he's also a lightning storm for oh, monsters. Because wow. when you synchro summon with this dragon, it destroys all attack position monsters yeah, on your side, on your opponent's side. Got it. Charles? And of course, we can't go in this battle without the classic Red Dragon Archfiend. Yep, because you're cheating them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Crimson Dragon, a right. good dragon. The sweat to tag out one of your synchros. Yep. Then we have the Dispatter. This is an interruption and an extender. Yep. We also have the classic Red Nova Dragon. Yeah, this guy actually killed me. <laughs> yep. This dragon gains 500 for every tuner in your grave. Like when I fought against one of my opponents, 10 tuners. This guy gained 5,000 attack. That's pretty good. And by removing this guy from play, you can gain an attack. And at the end of the turn, he comes right back. Got it. This guy is really good. He can basically 
Sacrifice a monster to summon any Archfiend from your graveyard to the field. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Abyss, obviously. Negate. Yep, the Negate. Then we have the Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. The Burn and, and, and Remove The Burn cards. and destro Four Destroyer. Got it. Then we have the King <laughs> Calamity. Oh, I hate this card. It just the locks the opponent out. Fears. Yeah. And, and, and how many times do you summon this? A few times, basically. Nice. Sure. But here's the best card that, in my honest opinion, is the best one. Red Supernova Dragon. And why is this one the best one? Because when your opponent activates a card effect, you can banish this guy and banish every monster on the field. And at the end of your opponent's next turn, this guy comes back. Plus, he gains 500 attack for every banished tuner monster. Actually, for every tuner monster in the graveyard. Oh, just like the other guy. Yep. Awesome. Alex, let's take a quick look at the side deck you have so far. I know it's a work in progress. Yep. So it's a work in progress. So we have two evenly matches. Yep. And we also have this card, which I personally think is good for synchros, dark synchros, red regime. So what does it do? If you have a Dark Synchro <laughs> app, you can activate this trap. I Banishes like all though. monsters on opponents, all monsters on the field, except for the one with the highest level. Okay. Which would be the Dark Synchro. Got it. And the best part is, if you Synchro summon while this card's in your grave, you can bring it right back into your hand. Got it. Two Ice Dragon Prisons. For when you're going first. Yep. So you can break up the whole board that your opponent tries to build. Got it. And extra copies of these little guys. Okay, so you add those in when you want more extension? Yep, more extension, more power, more synchro. Got it. And the two little effect veilers, in case if you wanted more in the gate power. Got it. All right, Alec, well, this is a very cool deck. And honestly, you, again, you performed very well with it. So what are your closing thoughts and things you want to share to the world? This deck is good for anyone that wants to try to, you know, make an affordable build. Like, try to make it, you know, as cheap as possible if you don't have the money, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything else? Well, again, this is this deck, shout out, is for everybody that wants to play, you know, Red Dragon Archfiend or anyone that wants to begin Yu-Gi-Oh. Got it. Well, thank you so much, Alec, for taking the time. Logan, Joe, I send off a great day. We'll see you beautiful people later. Peace. Peace.